Hello, welcome to the Singapore Food Festival cooking studio. And uh, to everyone who will be joining us in our cooking session today on Webex, a very special welcome to you too. Uh, I hope you have your cooking kit all ready and uh, ready to start cooking. And if you are using a mobile device, uh, remember to double tap on it to get the full screen. If uh, you are streaming from Facebook or Twitch, yeah, very warm welcome to you too. And thanks for joining us. Uh, today, I'm hosting a session on cooking with fiery sambal with uh, someone who is a bit of a chili party herself, uh, my very good friend, Violet Oon. Hi, Ayo. Hi, Violet. Lovely. Namaste. Yes. <laughs> Namaste apart. Hi, everybody. Now, so fun to be with you here. That's right. Yeah. It's so good to be with you yeah, again, okay. Violet. Yeah. And uh, today, we'll be cooking two dishes, right, Violet? Yes. Uh, what are the dishes? The dishes are uh, chili goreng ayam, yes. which is... Um, with our spice mix. Uh -huh. And then the next one is um, udang lemak uh, masak okay. nanas. So yeah. one chicken dish and one prawn dish. Yes, one prawn Why dish. Why do you choose these two dishes, Violet? Well, I was asked to use my spice mixes. Okay. And the first one has uh, chili and garlic and oil and salt in it. Okay. But the important thing is that how uh, the spices are ground. Yes. And then how they are fried. Ah, okay. The second one is a uh, sambal called sambal baja. And okay. it goes very lovely. Ah, that's like an Indonesian sambal. That's Indonesian, right? yeah. but you know, part of our culture in mm, Singapore. That's right. Okay, shall I start? Uh, yeah, sure, you can start. Okay, here we have the chicken dish. And I'm showing, uh, I'm using a chicken thigh, boneless. Uh -huh. uh, the recipe has, you can use a, with bone. Or boneless, okay. and I'm yeah. going to show you how to cut it. Uh -huh. Now, normally it's, it's easier to I like to cut from the uh, the other side rather than the skin okay. side. Yeah, it's easier. Yeah, right? and I may cut about six to eight pieces. Okay. And I'm using this because we don't have that much time, and it's yeah. much so it's faster. much easier to cook with yeah. boneless, right? It's yeah. faster. Yeah. Traditionally, you would use a sort of a whole chicken uh -huh. uh, with bones and skin chopped up. Okay. Yeah. But we are trying to make it look pretty, right? Mm, so, okay. Yeah. Now, I'm using a red chopping board. Uh, there's a colour code, you know. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I never knew that. Yeah. yeah. The colour code is red for raw meats, uh -huh. uh, green for vegetables, yes. and then whatever, uh -huh. la, you know. Yeah, then, I use the same colours myself at yeah. home, but it's because I have a little logo to tell me what to yes. use for. Then so, you can that's do that. very useful. Okay, so I put yeah. it here. Okay. And, are you, can we just, and I'm using gloves so that I don't have to wash my okay. hands. At home, no need. Mm. Okay, can you just put it out of the okay, way? Okay, sure. So maybe I'm going to start. And I think when you're using a sort of induction cooker for the first time. Okay, so while you're cooking, I want to say hi to our uh, visitors from Thailand who are joining us online. Uh, very welcome to you too. Welcome. I'm like, you know, part uh -huh. of the trick of using a um, sort of new cooker is to get used to the new cooker. Yes, right. Yeah. So I'm not so used to it. It's not your own kitchen. I know it's not my own right? kitchen, okay? Yes. And then, uh, can I have the oil? Okay. It's good to put the oil in a squeezy bottle. Uh -huh. Or, uh, you know, like... It's one of easier the, to control the volume It's easier to control. Mm -hmm. And not only that, you don't, you don't have a mess. Uh -huh. So I'm putting the oil about three tablespoons. Okay. And I, can I have the garlic? Okay, there's And the I'm garlic. waiting for it to get... Uh, this number nine, not yet. Huh? High heat. Hopefully it's okay. I'm waiting for the oil to get a bit hot. Um, I sort of say it's supposed to be a dancing oil. You can see the oil mm -hmm. moving. Yeah. Which I learned from a Cantonese uh, chef, you know. Okay. That the oil should dance. Let's wait for the oil to dance. And then I have a ladle. And when you are having an induction cooker, you make sure that you've got a pan that is induction friendly. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And the heat, you don't use high heat, right? You use medium heat? I'm using high heat now. You're using high heat because you want it to heat up fast. Yes, and, I, and this garlic and chilli is for fun. Uh -huh. For look, you know. Now okay. your food has been Instagrammable, right? That's right. Okay, yeah, so. so you don't want the chicken to look so boring. Yeah, I know. Right? You have something yeah. on it. Because, Not yet. Uh, okay, yeah. it starts sizzle. It's correct because it's starting to sizzle. Okay. Once it starts to sizzle, it's correct. Now the sizzle, you can hear the sound. It's a bit too loud. Uh -huh. So Then you lower the heat. Yeah. You cook by sound, you know. That's right, yeah. yeah. You know, and so I'm sizzling it. Like hopefully, you you know, it looks quite nice, right? So I'm just sizzling it a bit. And then getting a bit brown. And I have, I'm very bad at removing things from a wok, uh -huh. uh, from a pan. And you know, when I used to cook, dish cooking, 
uh, my students used to say I'm very inspirational uh -huh. because I'm so clumsy, right? Okay. They said if I can get it right, they can get it right. Uh -huh. so, so when the garlic turns brown, you yeah, take it I out? Yeah, I just take it out. So as I said, I'm not good at this. You can practice to be good at it, okay? Uh -huh. Can I have the chilies? Sure. This chili? Chili paddy. I've just mm -hmm. smashed it. You smash it so that it's uh, not, uh, the flavour. So you release yeah, the flavour. Yeah, the flavour gets released. So here am I. It's a nice sound, right? Mm. Yeah. This is... <coughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. the problem when you cook with chili. When you feel like sneezing, it's you correct. You start sneezing and coughing. Yeah. Can I okay. have... Oh, that's now? quite fast, huh? Yes, I know so fast, right? I'm going to turn it down because, again, I'm trying to get used. Uh -huh. uh, because I don't want to, you know, it's starting to burn, right? Yes. Now it starts so to burn, to reduce just heat. turn it off. Mm. Okay. Let it cool down a little yes. bit. Yeah, because you see the one. And can I, can you open the bottle for me? Yeah, sure. I and yeah, about... today we are using uh, Violet's Goreng Chili. Yes. Now I'm going to, should I change the wok? No need lah. I think just let it cool Did down it, a little bit. It's getting a yeah. bit brown, Is so just ignore it. Is there a difference between using ready-mixed spices and fresh spices uh, or fresh rumpa? Okay, I'm trying to get rid of this, so when you uh -huh. get this, just remove it. Okay. Right? Because otherwise, it will colour mm. the dish. That's right. Now, the difference is, to uh, us, needs to. I know, <coughs> we had, we've, we've tried as much as possible to get it done exactly like we do it in the kitchen. Yes. Uh -huh. So we took a lot of trouble with mm. uh, using actual... Uh, fresh spices, okay. you know, and the chilies. So we put in about three quarters of a bottle, maybe, okay. a spoon. Uh -huh. And it's chilli garlic and uh, salt. Okay. And a, a uh -huh. lot more, like more than half okay. the bottle. And the good thing about using ready yeah. spices is it saves a lot of time, right? Yes. Is this enough? More, half the bottle. Half the bottle. And a lot, okay. right? You're supposed That's a to. lot, yeah. I know. It's supposed so should to be I put very, it in now? Yeah, put it in now. You see, even though I turn off the heat, it's still sizzling, right? Yes. <laughs> you let me know when to stop, Violet. Yeah, a bit more. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Some more? A bit more should be nice. Okay, now I'm okay. going to turn it on. And then, and I'm going to, this is very important. When you're having a bottle mixture, you should refresh it. Uh -huh. Refresh it means to, to cook it again, yeah. to fry mm. it again. Yeah, because yeah. that releases the aroma. Yeah. And can I have <coughs> both of okay. the chicken, please? I'm, I'm not standing so near. I know. Can I have the chicken? Sure. Yeah, I'm going to have most of it. Uh, about 900 grams because I cut extra just now, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, I just want to remind everyone that if you are watching uh, at home, if you have any questions anytime throughout the session, uh, if you're on Webex, just raise your hand and uh, we'll try our best to answer your question. Okay, I've changed my ladle <coughs> because that one is very floppy. You know, you really feel like <coughs> sneezing, <laughs> right? Yeah, okay. That's can why I, I'm keeping my distance. I know, can I yeah, have some water? Like social distancing. Yeah, safe distancing. Okay. <laughs> I know this sambal can be refreshed and put on top of uh, fish, or okay. fried fish. Uh, Violet, we have a question from yes. one of our viewers. Uh, Rachel on Redbacks is asking, will it be better to smash the garlic before frying? Not really, because it's for sure, you know. That's right, because it's not for you real. are actually yeah. using the ready. Yeah. Uh, well, well the, so the chilli looks quite nice already that's smashed. Right, yeah. So in I this case, you don't need to smash the not garlic. Not really. Because you want it to look nice and whole. Yeah, okay. Now, the, I'm, just, I'm just, I know, adding just enough water. Wow. Okay. To oh, half yeah. cover no, it. is really potent, Violet. I know, right? More potent than I. Ah, oh, my goodness. We're going to spend our whole session sneezing. I know, this studio is going to be quite... Yeah, I hope those of you who are cooking along at home, you are also sneezing because yeah. Yeah, then you are doing it right. Okay, now, can I have the salt? Okay. This has already salted, but because I've added liquid, I'm just going to put in the salt. Can I have a teaspoon? Thank you. And then I'll put this in because it's uh -huh. nice to fry it as well. Yeah. Yeah. You see how it looks prettier, right? 
with the garnish. Uh, it's a lot of a garnish. Right. Yeah, that's why yeah, you don't smash the garlic, right? Because it looks so pretty yes. in the dish. Yeah, and then it's a bit of a mess here. I'm trying to lower it. Like this, it takes about uh, not much, a few minutes. Uh huh. So once the chicken is cooked <coughs> and ready, it can be about eight to twelve minutes, right? Uh huh. So let me yeah. just tidy this a bit. Okay. Mm. And then. Yeah. Um, That's the problem with cooking with fiery I know. sambals, right? You end up like sneezing and coughing like half I the know. time. And then clear your sinuses, <laughs> though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So maybe we should put on our mask. Huh? Yeah, I know we should. <laughs> so now, how do you know when you don't want to overcook chicken? Yes. And you always have a satay stick at hand. Uh huh. Okay. So let's see whether uh -huh. so it in. So you just poke into the meat, right? Not yet, right? No, it has, no. It's yeah. resist. Uh -huh. When it resists, it's not cooked yes, yet. But right. you don't want it to overcook to be it. It's to go through easily. Okay. Yeah. While the chicken is cooking, we have another question, Violet. Yes. yes. Caroline from Facebook. Uh, she's asking, how do we know which kind of sambal to use for which ingredient? Okay, like this particular sambal mm. can be having chicken like this. Okay. It can have pork, okay. slices of belly of uh -huh. pork raw. Yeah. And then it can go, it can have prawn. Okay. And it can go on top of fish. Uh -huh. Now, if you want to have an easy time, <coughs> buy fish and chips and put it on top. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. And pretend uh -huh. you cooked everything yourself, okay? Okay. Show so off. any white meat or seafood. Yes. But it's, not beef. It's, yeah, it's not for beef. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Nice on squid as well. Okay. You know? So it's a, it's a nice sort of, um, this particular sambal. Mm. You know? Yeah. Okay, let's see. How it's come starting it's, to look ready. Yeah? yeah, starting to look ready, but how come the fire is less? Okay. And it's higher? Let's try and see what happens. Mm. So, when you're cooking, you really have to hear. It has yeah. to sound sizzling. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah, okay, it's sizzling again. Yeah, yeah. it's sizzling again, yeah. and it has to mm. be like active. Yeah. Unless, unless you are going to use, okay. you're going to be ste uh, like slow cooking, then it cannot yes, be right. so active. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So it I want, I want the, ready. yeah, I would like the uh, chicken. Yeah. Nearly. So a little bit more. Yeah. Chicken yeah. thigh is lovely yeah, al dente. Mm. Yeah, a little bit more. And then we're going to plate it. Mm. And then you're going to taste a bit and hope it doesn't <laughs> get you into a dessert, right? Okay. okay. I have a summer spoon. One each. And then uh, after this, we're going to try something else, okay. which is, uh, I'm not sure I can cook, right? Yes. Not from a bottle, of right? You can cook one. So <laughs> I'm going to Nobody show. Nobody does that. I'm going to show a spice mixture from scratch yes. and how do you do it. Okay. Right? Yeah. So yeah. instead of using something from a bottle, you can do your you're own. You're going to show how to do it from yeah. scratch, right? I'm going to do a very basic. Uh, rumpa. Yep. Can we try it again? Should be done. It's good. A few minutes more and it's done. Yeah, it's almost done. Yeah, so it's done. We can just plate it. I may want it higher because I want the I'm gravy going to, to be thicker. It a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So maybe mm. can we have a pair of tongs? Sure. And then we can start putting mm -hmm. this here. And then if I want to reduce, I just wait. Later to put the gravy. Uh, okay. So I can make. I can. Yes, I can let the gravy evaporate. And it's nice <coughs> with pork. You cook a longer time, of course. Mm. Yeah. Traditionally, it's not with red meat, but you can always try. You don't have to follow tradition. Okay. You can break tradition yeah. if you feel like it. Okay. Quite cute, right? Yeah. So what's most important in cooking this dish eh, is not to overcook the chicken. Yes. And not to I have think the so, gravy right? to water it. Yeah. yeah. I like it quite thick. Okay. This is about fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I always like to plate the other dish since I'm sneezing away. Okay. And take the sauce a bit later. Uh. So it's very fast if you use a uh, ready mix. Mm, yeah. Good. How are you doing? <coughs> and 
I've turned it off. Okay. So it's reduced enough. Yeah. And this is not a nice dish to cook mm -hmm. uh, in the barbecue where you're going to sneeze okay. on everybody. Yeah. Uh -huh. During this time. Okay. So, so yeah. you see how the sauce has been reduced. Okay. Yeah, so it looks really nice. It looks very good. nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have another question coming yes. in, Violet. Yes. Yes, uh, Fiona from Facebook yep. is asking, can jackfruit be used instead of chicken? Can to try. Make this a, like a vegetarian yeah, why not? dish? Okay. Yeah. We nearly... You can, you can try anything else. You can no. try eggplant. No. You That's can actually right. deep fry eggplant. Uh -huh. And then... Uh, Put it on top. Put uh, the sauce on top. Okay. The gravy, the sambal. So that's a good idea yeah. for people who just want to yeah, eat the like plant-based to... dishes. Uh, okay. Okay. Should be nice. So Let's clean it a bit. Yeah. And then, Ayo, would you like to taste? Uh huh. Let's do another clean up a bit the okay. other side. Yeah. So at the end, you just paper towel is very important. Mm. Um, you know, for decor local dish, uh -huh. nothing works like banana leaves. Yeah. I tell people whenever you're in doubt. Just throw some banana leaf. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Does it need a bit more clean up? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, so let's take a look at the yeah. uh, beautiful completed dish. Maybe this is for you. Yes, thank you. Let me see, should I try one maybe? There's no small piece though. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to give yeah, you Yeah, you just give it a try. And then, mm. is it cooked? Yeah, just because it's cooked perfectly. About cook, right? Mm. Okay, so we've done. Yeah. And then we can take this dish away. Mm -hmm. And then can you pass me the rampa? So we're done with this dish. Okay. And then I'm going to put it away. Uh, so it should, you can use jackfruit, you can use eggplant. Uh, you can use, not really a green leafy vegetable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can we just put this somewhere? Okay. So here we are. And then I'm going to show the rumpa dish. Can I take that? The other. So let me remove yeah, this. Yeah, remove this one. Now you know when you're cooking at home, you should behave like an executive chef, which means you ask somebody else to prepare for you, or you prepare <coughs> everything a day ahead, which is a good hint. Mm -hmm. When I first learned okay. cooking as a teenager, I used to do everything in one go, and it was always a disaster. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. So this is a classic rumpa, called mm -hmm. a rumpa tite. Uh -huh. Pranakan, okay. which is four candle nuts, uh -huh. yeah, are the yeah, candle which nuts. you will wash, and then uh, four dried chilies, okay, dried chili, four fresh chilies, fresh chili, and this humongous looking shallot. Yeah, shallots yeah, I are really big. I think they are like I think they are not shallot. I think they are like <laughs> onions. Like, can't decide whether they yeah, want to be shallots or onions. About 150 grams, and then yeah. the last ingredient is blachan. Okay, this is the blachan. Yeah, in the olden days, sorry about this. In the olden days, you would pound the candle nut first, okay, to provide a creaminess to uh, bind, okay. and then the next order of hardness, the chilies will be soaked yes, in hot yeah, water till soft, chili first, yeah. and I will cut it up mm. as well as the chilies, okay. cut it up, and then the shallot as well, cut it up. Mm -hmm. Now, one hint is to actually use a grinder for three quarters of the way, and you want mm -hmm. to impress a future mother-in-law or father-in-law or boyfriend or girlfriend, uh -huh. you actually Pound the last bit. Okay. So it's. Uh -huh. So then you present it in this. I know, present it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But the pounding is important too. It's right? very important. Because the pounding actually, actually releases the aromatics. The pounding are meshes mm. while the grinding cuts. That's cuts, yeah. Okay, we're going to start. Hopefully, I got it. Now, can I have some oil from yeah. the last? Where's the oil? No, where's my oil? Yes. There you are. Okay, now I'm trying to navigate this set, okay? Still not there, okay? Okay. And I'm going to put, you always heat up the wok first. Mm -hmm. And actually, I'm not going to fry all. You need quite a lot of oil to start off with. Now, mm -hmm. if you're immediately health conscious, it's okay. After you fry, the oil all separates and then you remove the oil. Mm, okay. But you need the oil for frying. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have the oil, Yeah, what actually, happens when you don't have enough oil? You're boiling. Uh -huh. You're, you okay. know, you're boiling and, uh, and then it won't get fragrant. And it's very raw tasting, mm. right? When you have the oil, I'm not going to use oil. When you have the oil, it sort of fries. Okay, okay. This you one, see? you have to stand for the... Yeah, the sound uh, definitely has started. Going to sneeze. I know. So let's try. So this is to show like a raw rumpa. And you mm -hmm. must... There's also an art to getting it fried. Uh-huh. What you is know? that? 
it must be fried enough. It uh -huh. must taste. You must sneeze lah. Mm. And it must, it must, um, you know, the oil must separate. What uh -huh. happens is that each grain mm. is fried to the liquid. It's no more there, okay. and then it's fried in the oil. Uh -huh. And the it's, oil comes up. Yes. Uh -huh. And if it's the liquid is still there, that means it's still boiling. Okay. So you have. What? But you also have to be very careful not to burn it, right? Yes. So the heat has to be not so high. Mm -hmm. so Still, a yeah. Still a sizzle. Still a sizzle, but medium, okay? So you can get any rumpa recipe. The most important rumpa is to know how to grind it and how to fry. Mm -hmm. And some recipes have semi fine okay. or rough, like, uh -huh. our, you know, like our uh, chili goreng. Uh -huh. It's very rough. Okay. And some are very fine. So for so, fry, you actually use a grinder. You don't you pound. pound it till it's you fine in the olden days, yeah. right? Now, what? The housewife used to do was to actually um, have a grinder, have a plastic bag, cut the hole, mm -hmm. and then keep on using this thing, you know? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So here am I frying it. Okay. And it takes a bit of a time. Yes. And the heat is not so high. Uh -huh. So while you are frying, uh, well, maybe we can talk about you getting the Lifetime Achievement Award last year. For outstanding contribution to tourism given yeah. by the tourism. It was a shock, yeah. right? I think it was a shock yeah. to you as well, right? Yeah. Well, it's not a shock to me. I mean, yeah. I've known you for so long, Wanda. Um, you definitely deserve um, it. I think it's like the most um, largest honor, the most important mm. honor I could possibly yes. have. And then I turned 70 on that same week. Oh, that's nice. And then I asked myself, what must I do from then on yeah. to be deserving of this honor? Yes. So I decided to do seven things, community projects, uh -huh. in my 70th year. I turned 71 this May. That's right. And then um, I did four, uh -huh. and one for the ASP, uh, Association of Persons with Special Needs, mm -hmm. and you know a few of them. And I also cooked Christmas meal for Marymount, uh -huh. the, the girls. And oh. then COVID came, so I've got three more to uh -huh. go. Okay. Yeah, maybe uh -huh. this is one of them. Yeah. For That's the community. Very nice yeah. So I, I think when you get uh, an award, it's like a commitment for the future, right? Yeah. You have to just see what, what you do to deserve it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, people think God for what, right? You know what I'm saying? No, right. I mean, <laughs> you're already, you have a whole lifetime of achievement already. No, I, I think what's important is that it's been so important to me uh, to curate, mm -hmm. collate, celebrate our food. Yes, that's And I right. think in doing that, I think I met you when you were much younger. Mm -hmm. both of, And I've always been so happy with it and, and so mm -hmm. loving it yeah. that maybe it communicated itself on an international audience, That's right. you know? Yeah. And because a tourism award is not only for local, That's right. it's for yeah. what you have done mm. to bring your culture, your country, your food overseas. That's right. And you have worked with the tourism board over the years, Yes, right? I worked over the board, years. The and very like, I've had a chili crab festival. Mm. Uh, I went on a media tour in 1988, yeah. before most people were born, you know? Mm. And then, but it's fun, you know? Yeah. It's, it's mm. still fun. Okay. You see, it has absorbed the oil, right? Okay, yes, that's right. Yeah, and then I have to wait a bit more. And you're right, I cannot burn it. Now, a lot of people make the mistake in rempah cooking mm -hmm. of um, using the Chinese philosophy of wok hei uh, to cook okay. Malay food oh, or spice, and you okay. cannot. That's it's, right, because Malay food yeah, doesn't depend on wok hei. Yeah, it, it depends on slow cooking. Mm. But it still yeah. has to have a sizzle. Because it's about releasing the natural yes, oils. Right? Yes. And then uh, you give it a few more seconds. It, for this quantity, it's about five to six minutes. Okay. Yeah, I saw time. You see the oil is coming, starting uh -huh. to come out. Can you see? Okay. Everybody? So how do you know when to remove it from the heat? It's about right. Like, you see the oil mm. is, has come out, okay. right? Mm. And then... And the colour also darkens. Yeah, the colour is darkened. And you saw that at the beginning, it absorbs the oil, mm. even however much you put. Yeah. And so this is done. And okay. if you do it at home, uh -huh. this can be your base for uh, put coconut or put tamarind and, and sugar. Uh -huh. Or you could create more sambals and you have sambal recipes and this is how you fry. Okay. And then what do you use this sambal for? I would use for sambal udang, uh -huh. which we serve as well. Okay. Which is, uh, okay, I'm going to turn it off before I burn it, right? Um, sambal udang, which I use tamarind water mm -hmm. and a bit of sugar, so a sweet, okay. sour, hot flavour, uh -huh. and then with prawn. Okay. So this is about done. Mm -hmm. So Ayok, could we just remove it? Okay. 
So this is how you would fry a spice paste at home, right? Any spice paste. This is how you do. Now, I have to wash, okay, thanks so much. I have to now go and clean my hands, okay, here. <laughs> okay, I'll wash my hands too. So you have to be careful that this, these dishes are going to make you sneeze. Somebody has asked, you know, are there any more questions coming in? Yes, uh, we have a question from Mary on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, she's asking, what can we add to enhance the rempah base? You can add uh, lemongrass, yeah. uh, galangal, ginger, mm -hmm. and you know, coriander powder. So okay. this, is, this is a basic base that if you have other recipes, you can just use the same technique for the uh -huh. other recipes. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then you can have uh, coconut milk. Yeah. You can have uh, tamarind, lime juice. Mm. These are uh, gula melaka, for example. Okay. So it's very flexible. Very flexible. You just use it as a base. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Shall we try the next dish? Okay. Let me remove this. Yes. Okay. Now, this is going to happen at home that you're going to sneeze a lot. And then you have to sort of blow your nose and we have to remember to keep on washing our hands. You know? Yes, so this is the prawn dish. And can I have my third walk? Now this one, I'm going to have this prawn. It's about uh, 500 grams already peeled. Oh, yes. These are pretty big prawns. Eh? Pretty big prawns. Mm. But you still kept the head and the tails on. Yeah, first of all, it's very yummy, the head. Yeah. And then secondly, it's, um, let me show you. Secondly, it's like um, delicious. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, you're going to spend a fortune on prawns. Make sure it looks as big as possible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It looks nice, yeah. right? Yeah, because once prawns. you have only the flesh, the whole thing curls up. Mm. Okay, now this is a good idea. What you do is actually... You cut the, the side, the you know centers. Mm -hmm. This is a very clean prawn, right? Yes, there's no vein inside. There's no, yeah. Normally, it has a black vein. That's right, which we will remove. You right? have to remove. Yeah. That's the intestinal vein. Mm. Okay, so that's the prawn, and actually, uh, I'm ready to cook it. Okay. Yeah. Now let's start then. The simple dish. Now, let me see whether I've mastered this. Maybe. This is quite simple. Maybe it's a sambal bajak. Could you open the bottle? Okay. Sambal and then, so let's imagine that this is the sambal that you make. It's got tomato in it. Mm -hmm. It's got a uh, shallot, you know, yeah. and, and it's a very traditional. Maybe use this one. And let me just put about, maybe about half a bottle into this, yeah. Uh, prawn, uh, this is very nice with seafood. Mm -hmm. I think you could, you could do beef as well. Okay. Maybe, yeah. maybe when you heat it up, you could put on tenderloin. Uh, which you okay. have pan fried, okay? Sure. Use the oil as well. It's actually served as a sambal sambal, which means that you just uh, can serve it on top of food. Okay. In, in our, in, in okay. our restaurant so in... just spoon it over Yes, in our restaurant in um, Clark Key, which we are opening next week, mm -hmm. um, we put it on top of uh, fried... Uh, a barbecued fish, for example. Okay. Yeah. You can do that. Mm. Actually, fried fish will be very good too. Very nice. Mm. Okay, this is quite nice. Okay, can you just fry a bit for me? Okay. I'm going to have like two lemongrass and kaffir lime leaves. That's doing well. Okay. Kaffir lime leaves, I have about four. Mm -hmm. And you sort of break them. You have to, to crush them. Yeah. Yes, to release the juices. Uh -huh. Okay, while well, I'm frying this, we have another question. Uh, yes. Elizabeth from Facebook is asking, how do we choose fresh prawns? Okay, first of all, can I can you cut off the head for me? <coughs> Again. You want uh, I, cut, I just cut this uh -huh. away. Okay. And then maybe into three. Could you smash for me? Okay. Smash, huh? Smash two, yes. I put it into the wok. And that is really causing a lot of, um, yeah, put it in the wok. You're going to like clear your sinuses, you know. Fresh prawns, make sure the heads are uh, firmly 
on the prawn. Mm. So they haven't shouldn't be falling off, right? They shouldn't yeah. fall and they shouldn't turn black. Mm. Okay, this is about nice. Maybe throw in the prawns now. Okay, all of them? All of them. And then cook, they're just slightly uh, red. You know prawns are cooked when they turn fully red, right? Yeah. And then, <coughs> again, again, you see? <laughs> you can add pineapple, okay. or you don't have to. Oh. Yeah, I know, you see? <coughs> Lethal, sorry, right? Sorry. Yeah. Okay, yeah, pineapple. But if you don't add pineapple, <laughs> the dish will taste very different, right? <coughs> Slightly. Uh, it doesn't have that part. Sour taste, yeah. okay. Okay. If any of you are cooking at home, I'm sure you're sneezing now. Okay, we could add the pineapple now. Okay, let me wash my hands. Yeah, slightly red, you know, uh -huh. it's half uh, light. Throw yeah, throw the pineapples in. You can have more or less. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to make the heat higher. And then just throw in the coconut milk. Okay. All of it? All of it, uh, three quarters of it, I think. And I want it slightly sweet. <laughs> Can you fry for me, please? Uh. So this is a sneezing party class. Right? Yes, I'm sure all our viewers at home cooking along will be sneezing too. I know. Okay. I could add more coconut milk if I want to as I go along. Mm -hmm. That just makes it more lemak. Yeah, makes it more lemak. And then, and everything is inside, including the salt. Uh -huh. uh, but let me add some sugar. Would you like to add some sugar? Okay, all of this? Yes. We have a spoon. If you don't want it so lemak, but you want more gravy, mm -hmm. and you want more sambal, just add more sambal. Okay. Okay. And I would maybe add uh, a bit of water. Can we just have some water? Sure. Yeah. Maybe add about yeah quarter of a cup. That I think that's enough. And let the prawns get red. Uh. So it's nice. Uh, it's nice with squid. Mm -hmm. I think it's nice. Nice with seafood. I'm going to put the heat a bit more. And if it's not fiery enough, just add some more sambal. Uh, okay. I would add a bit. Can we have another spoon? And then, thank you. And then it's done now. When it's cooked. And you know, you can serve it. You can cook it earlier, take the prawns out, reheat the gravy, and then put the prawns in to just heat at the, a little bit because you don't want to overcook the prawns. Mm, yeah. yeah. So, any questions? Ayo, would you like to ask? Uh, no, I'm good. You, the, the lemongrass is looking really yeah. good now. The lemongrass and the uh, kefir lime leaf add the mm. uh, element. Yeah. You could put laksa leaf if you feel like it. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one has it's not vegetarian because it's got blachan in it. No. The other dish is vegetarian. Okay. Again, if you want to make nanka, you can. Uh -huh. You know, you can do nanka, the nanka seeds. Okay. And you can add a sort of vegetables. Again, sweet potato leaves would be nice. Mm. With some sweet potatoes. Yeah. And let's just let it simmer a few minutes. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I have a question for you. One yes. I mean, after 50 years as a food critic yourself, yeah. and then becoming a chef as a restauranter, uh, as specialising in Singapore food. What, what do you think makes our food Singaporean? What is the special thing? I think the special thing about Singapore food is that it's a blend of many cultures and uh -huh. many flavours. Yes. And it's like Chinese, Malay, mm. Indian. Indian is Southern Indian, the Chinese, yes. Southern Chinese. Uh -huh. uh, very Fukien, yeah. Teochew, mm. uh, Hainanese Hakka. Yeah. No uh, oyster sauce, mm -hmm. no... Uh, sesame oil, no Chinese wine. Yeah. And then, but I think what's most important is that a lot of cultures do have a blend of cuisines. What's mm -hmm. important in Singapore, I always say, is that 
people eat together. That's right. Yeah. Of different cultures. That's right. All the different cultures. Yes. And and you know today's world is so divisive. Mm -hmm. And I think Singapore food is so appealing. Yes. We've got this UNESCO bit. Uh -huh. Because it's not only the food, it's the way we eat together. That's right, yeah. And it's so inclusive. Uh -huh. You know, people eating together. Which I That's think right. is what is so important in today. And I, I feel that, you know, you, you, you eat in a food centre or in our restaurant, you get the whole of Asia on the table. That's right, yeah. We order dishes from yeah. all the different cultures. Yeah. And then we just enjoy the meal together. Yes. And it's different taste, you know. Mm. Okay, a few more minutes. These are big prawns, right? I think the prawns are starting to look I know, they're done. starting to look cooked. And then we can put that on that dish. Mm -hmm. And you would also serve the lemongrass because it's quite fun. Mm. It's, it's very rustic. That's right, yeah. So can we, can we take that okay, dish? Okay, which dish do you want Maybe to Maybe this first? dish. Thank you. And then we can start uh, serving the prawn. So I, I do think that Singapore food has such a wide following around the world mm -hmm. uh, because, first of all, it's important, it's hygienic. Mm -hmm. It's in hygienic conditions. Right. So yeah. we always feel safe you take out. Yeah, okay. Are you okay you help me with this? I need okay. to sneeze again. Okay. No. Sorry. Maybe one more enough. Okay. And then uh, let's sort of put the gar put the gravy. Mm -hmm. And then we have another dish to do, right? Okay. Why okay, don't it's I about put that. This prawns in the other dish. Uh, no, there's another dish. Where's our other dish? Yes. Can I have the plate? Okay. Thank you. And maybe some pineapple here mm -hmm. in this dish. Yep. Can I have it? Are you okay? So this is our other dish. And you know, I, I love banana leaves, you know, mm. it's like yeah. the, the most um, rustical, the most natural mm -hmm. disposable ingredient, right? That's right, this, yeah. You know, that you can use. And you know, you, you can keep some banana leaves in your fridge. Mm -hmm. If you have a garden, please plant some banana trees. Yes, yes. not ready It's yet. not ready. Okay, can we just put the gravy on this one? Okay. Can I have? Thank you very much. And the garnish. Mm -hmm. So some pineapple, pineapple, some and lemon some lemongrass. Lemon lemongrass. That's lovely. That should be part of the dish. I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you can do the other dish. The color is quite lovely, right? Mm. We love this vibrant color. Okay. Yeah. So I keep this for the other dish. Yes, let's keep this for the other dish. And Ayo, would you like a taste? Of course. Thank you so much. It's like quite simple to cook, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the wonderful thing about this really I know. spices, right? So, so much work. You just hold this and I will just uh, clean it. And then you could have a taste. And we could each have a taste of the prawn. You know, you always need paper towels at home. Mm -hmm to clean your dishes. And you know, nowadays, if you're having guests, family, everything has to be photographed, right? So make sure your dish looks pretty. Mm. So this okay. is it. So, this. so are, you, are you ready to yes. tuck into one of them? Okay, let's yeah. have some spoons. Let's have some spoons. Yes. So the reason I put everything on a tray is because when you finish cooking, it can look like a World War Three zone, right? Mm. You know? And then, any other questions? Yes, uh, we have a question from uh, Huzaima on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's asking, is sambal bajak essentially sambal blachan? Are they the same thing? No, it's got tomato and it's cooked. Uh, okay. Sambal blachan is like raw uh -huh. and it's got shallot. Uh, Some people see. make sambal blachan with tomato. Uh -huh. And okay. shallot as well. Uh -huh. Oh, we have another question as well from uh, Lan C on Facebook. How can you make sambal chili less hot if it's too hot? Um, you just add, it's a bit hot actually. Uh huh. So what do you do then? You can add more coconut milk? It's meant to be hot. Mm -hmm. 
You can add more coconut milk, you can add more water. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, mm. but it is a hot dish. Mm. Yeah. yeah, actually to me it's fine. Because it I eat very right. spicy food. I know. Yeah. So, but usually with uh, dishes like this, you eat it with rice, right? Yeah, you normally have rice. Mm. Then we, it'll be just nice. We don't eat it alone. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you all have been cooking at home and enjoying yourselves. Uh -huh. Any other questions? Yes, uh, we have a question from Zara on Facebook as well. Can we use canned pineapples? Yes, you can use canned pineapples. Uh -huh. Very nice. Uh, they'll be yes. sweeter. Sweeter. Mm. And then, um, you can, rumpa is so wonderful, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're going overseas, your parents would actually fry a whole lot. Ah, uh, yes, for and you to take with you. And yeah. take with and put in the freezer. Uh -huh. It can freeze for months, it's yes. when it's cooked. Uh -huh. When it's raw, it it's, doesn't freeze for so long. Yes. But when it's mm. raw, if, if you want to cook it, just put some oil. Okay. That's a trick. I see. Okay. So the oil will actually preserve it. Yes, it will preserve mm. it. It won't change colour. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's it. So how are you doing? Yeah, we're doing yeah. well. Doing yeah, well. I really enjoy the dishes. Yeah, okay. So, you know, as I said, you put it on trays, and mm -hmm. I do this, so that you don't mess up the kitchen so much. Yes. Because okay. it's going to be a mess. Okay, yeah. You know, so, okay. Yeah, thank you so much, Violet. So, uh, yeah, that's how you make uh, wireless dishes, chili goreng ayam and udang lemak masan anas. And uh, hopefully, yeah, you will, uh, those of you who are watching us, you will continue cooking these dishes and uh, keep these recipes alive. Yes. Right? We want these our are, Singapore you know, like culture our, our to, Singapore to, culture. Yeah, to continue. And then I think our restaurants has bundles as well. You can uh -huh. order petite meals. Okay, the, those are ready cooked meals. Uh, yes, and mm. then you can order, I think the two dishes are available in our restaurant. Yes. And mm. then you can also order the bottles. Yes. Mm. And hopefully you'll make your own sambal as well. Yeah. And if you have photos, uh, just share them online. That'd be lovely. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank yeah. you Violet. Thanks, Ayo. Thank you. I really enjoyed the session. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yes. Love you, and uh, yeah, if you like durians, uh, remember to uh, join us again at uh, two thirty. Uh, we have another masterclass coming up. Uh, it will be on durians. Wow, that's yeah, wonderful. That's wonderful, right? So yeah, thank you, everybody. And uh, when you post your photos, remember to use the hashtag Singapore Food Festival. Okay, this is a lovely food festival this year. That's right, yeah. Because all the events are going to be online. Yes, right. So everybody can just join yes, in. Yes, anytime. Yeah. Even next week, the week after. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.